Hey guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com. I wanna jump on here real quick and show you what a typical pull day looks like for my workouts. I'm gonna do it here in my home studio. I'm gonna go through some exercises and I'll give, kind of give you some tips on how to address them or change them according to what you may think that you need for your specific situation. So sit tight and we'll run through some exercises I'm gonna do today. All right, so the first exercise you're gonna see are some blast strap rows. You can do these a lot of different ways. You can do it with your feet up onto a bench. You don't have to use a bench if you want. You see me with my knees bent at 90 degrees. That's a great place to start, I feel like. Um, and you'll see me doing with the chains. You don't have to use chains at all. Uh, the key thing is just watching where the hip is and the lower back, that you're not rowing with the lower back, trying to relax everything. Make sure that you're using the upper and mid back to do all the movement. Go nice and slow, glutes are engaged, and the spine and pelvis are in a neutral position. exercise that I'm going to do is actually it's a mixture between like a core and a lat or a straight arm pull down you're gonna see what I'm doing I start off very basic more of like a straight arm pull down with the exercise I typically do these before I do any kind of dead lifting or any kind of pulling from the ground um, it just helps me engage my lats and kind of gets my mid and upper back just kind of fired up, pumped up, and just in my mind more stable when it comes to before I start doing some kind of deadlifting. Um, it works. Uh, from there, what you're going to see me do is actually transition to a straight arm pull down with a side crunch. Uh, I'll go left and right. It, to me, I'm just exploring movement, pain-free movement with, with, with my exercise that I'm doing. Uh, oftentimes, is if you have a hard time doing straight arm pull downs, if you have pain with that, you're definitely not gonna do the side to side ones. But if you do not have any pain and this actually helps you, try it out. It's a great core exercise, kind of helps you learn to stabilize everything and also introduce some twisting in with your exercise. So check it out. All right, so the next one you're gonna see is the rack pulls. I'm not particular on them. I don't compete. I don't care to hit PRs. I just wanna do a good low back, overall posterior chain endurance training exercise. And that is probably one of the best. If you are having lower back pain now, 
you have a sensitive back, they may not be what you should be doing at the moment, but if you do it right, slowly progress and, and load yourself over time under your pain threshold, you can do these as well. So these I'm gonna show you some different angles of it. Do non-loaded, just the bar, and see how it transitions to the first loaded set, second, and third loaded set. Let's check it out. So I try to pick between three to four sets of each exercise. I'm not in the gym for an hour and a half, two hours. I don't have time for that. So I try to be in there for at least 30 to 45 minutes of weight lifting, uh, of actually strength training, and then I kind of move on. Um, so you've seen, you just finished up with the rack pulls, different weight variations. Um, just really going for more endurance, not brute strength. My grip kind of uh, on the part of the bar that I was using at the end, there's really no grip, so it's kind of getting lost in it a little bit. Um, again, I don't do a whole lot of deadlifting, but that is one thing I'm trying to work back into my program. Now I'm gonna do some kettlebell overhead, single arm kettlebell carries with some sprints. So if you see behind me, I have a straightaway, bam. So I'll do kettlebell carries down the sidewalk, and then I'll do the run. Probably do that about two or three times, down and back, each arm, um, and that's how I'm gonna finish up. That's it guys, that's pretty much what I do. That's a pull, pulling day. It'll change up every once in a while. 
I try not to do too much new stuff all the time just because I like to master things. I think it's super important to learn your body, learn how it responds to different angles, just like doing those banded pulls. Simply just pulling them straight to your waist is a big difference between pulling them from side to side. So if you have pain doing them, just pulling them to your waist, if you're probably gonna have pain pulling them from side to side. So you have to kind of tailor it, make it fit you, stay within your threshold, and you just keep training, man. Don't be afraid to move. Don't be afraid to go against what your doctor said. Um, and just experiment, learn your body. You're the master of your own body. Trust the process and you'll be all right. Thanks for watching, guys. This is again William from fitnessforbackpain.com. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Lots of cool stuff coming out. I've got a free gift over at my website. You can go over there and pick up a four part masterclass I put together for you. Super easy. I'm going to send it right to your email, whichever one you want to use. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Shoot. Sure.